Check, check, one, two, one, two, coming through. It is zero degrees, if you please. A frosting on the wind shield. A need for that five minutes extra. Scraping the ice off. Letting the engine run for a few extra minutes. Soon everything will be frozen. Fingers, toes, even the ends of your nose. Everything will be white. Trees will shine like stars. And the countdown will begin the preparations it's the fourth quarter of living and there's always so much to do So much to get ready for, so much to prepare. Uh, I did, uh, did, make, made, what? <laughs> I'm teaching stuff that I don't even know myself. Check, check, check yourself. I am No, that's not the right verb. I made two recordings yesterday. And both times the headset fell out of my mobile phone. It fell out. It disconnected. Popped out. Slid out. Dropped out. Untethered itself. Which is really annoying. And I think one of those secrets to progress is looking forward rather than backwards. Not focusing too much on your fail the failure
of things. But I gave a really nice rant yesterday about triggering. And I spent a good half an hour explaining how the psychological process of triggering works. And it just doesn't seem important anymore. It was the most important thing in the world yesterday. It was life or death yesterday. It was all or nothing yesterday. It would have been nice to have it. I do have it, it's just recorded in really bad quality. You know, it sounds like listening to an old radio through a pair of your grandmother's underwear. It's <laughs> uncomfortable, I imagine. Isn't the imagination an odd thing? <sighs> Yet essential thing? How the... It's amazing how the dualities function to 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 give us life the the male the female the, the positive the negative the logic the creativity the ebb and flow the up and down, the left and right. <sighs> Coincidences. Incident, incidents happening. There are no coincidences. Somebody said this to me. Somebody said this to me two days ago, I think. There are no coincidences. I don't know about that. They said it because I met an old friend after a long period of time. And and, uh, he told me that just as he was leaving his office to meet me, somebody called him and asked him if he knew somebody who could help him with his language skills. (laughs) What are the chances of that happening? We sat and we talked in a cafe As usual, I kind of wish I had recorded the conversation, but I respect the privacy of private conversations. Although I think that if a lot more that was private 
was made public we could all take a hell of a lot of more steps forward or at least in the right direction secrecy leads to more secrecy and that which is not light is dark and darkness breeds darkness it cultivates darkness an environment of acceptance of that which would otherwise be unreasonable but during the conversation I I made it my my goal to observe as much as possible There's this lyric from from a song that I used to play. I need to observe more closely all the things that come up close to me. I need to observe more closely all of the things that come up close to me. So I watched him his hand movements his body language his eyes, where he looked, the, the angle, the positioning of his head. Well, obviously his head was on his shoulders, right, but you know what I mean. The way that he sat, the way that he listened the way that he answered the timing of his answer his choice of words And of course, the logic. The logic in his process. The thoughts, the ideas. What he was comfortable with and what he was uncomfortable with what he understood and what he did not understand I searched I searched for patterns for uniformity in mind and body, for, for clarity to help me build a picture of his state 
his state of being, his 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 state of mind, his his presence, his connection with the moment. What was that? What was that quote that I read yesterday that society is largely driven by fear and not love? Well, this person was nervous, agitated unfocused he knew that something somewhere somehow was not right And yet, everything was right. Everything was exactly where it needed to be. To express to him that he needed to make a change. But most of us are not prepared to make that change. Perhaps the path that we're on is not the right path. Perhaps the road that we have taken is not the right road. Perhaps our direction is wrong. Perhaps we need to change. But then how? It's like we all know what's wrong, but how do we fix it? Do we search for a quick fix? Do we search for a magic solution? Sol the sun. Lucius Lucifer, the bringer of light. Hmm, that's an interesting one. Anyway, this friend had the... <laughs> Apart from being unable to sit still, actually. He was unable to sit still. He forever had to move something, whether it was his feet or touch something, whether it was his phone. He was... Uh, he was 
restless. You know, like you see in films where people have bad dreams, how they're rolling from side to side in the bed, tossing and turning. It was like that. It was like his life was some kind of bad dream and that his his words couldn't express this to me so so his body was expressing this to me So much understanding and clarity comes after the fact. In hindsight, looking back, if we can just key into that in the moment, we can be so much closer to the answers that we need so much closer We never really know how close we are. So, my advice... <laughs> Who would want to take my advice? I know, I get it, I get it. The advice of a friend was to focus on two things to focus on two things the first thing is where are you And if you want to change something, in terms of understanding where you are, ask yourself, am I moving away from something or am I moving towards something? Uh, understanding if you're being pushed or pulled in any situation is is vital because if you're going towards something you have control, you have direction you have a specific focus which can which can guide you you have something measurable and tangible you have a direction like a film as a director what if you're going away from something 
if you're not driving towards something but you're actually in essence running away from something then it doesn't matter in which direction you go because each direction is away from where you are and that's dangerous because there's no guarantee of success there's no guarantee that the change is going to take you in a positive direction it doesn't even matter which way you go so you're automatically less focused and without direction so the so the first question that I uh, that I recommended was to answer are you going away from something or are you going towards something because that will give you clarity on where you are maybe even why you are there and it will help you find a focus a focal point something that you can work on something that you can work with something that will help you take the next step because if you want to im prove something you must first prove the reality of your situation understand where you are know yourself see how you integrate into the big picture it's the first step to making the impossible possible that was drivecast I have reached my destination I will speak to you again soon thank you